Okay, and we are back with another playthrough, and we are going to play Geogadi by, I think that's how we say it, Geogadi Dream Team by Q. What T's would you like to be judged from? Red. He's on blue team, people. He he will. Yeah, there'll be some sort of punishment for that. One eight seven greens are hilarious. All wins work. Greens should be interesting all the way down to moderate speeds. We'll go with default. Um, any key design features the bunkers. Stupid annoyance make bunkers interesting. Um, and this is also based loosely on Passa Tiempo. So let's give this one a go. This one's unfinished as well. I I mean, interested to see. So Q has been very self-deprecating and hello again and um, would like all sorts of feedback on this because he's planning on doing a more finished version he was really fighting for time with like very busy work schedule and then managing to break a leg or something along those lines ankle maybe can't remember so yeah this is not necessarily how he would have wanted it but we'll give it all the feedback that we can um, and i'm sure knowing him that it will be better than he thinks it is so we've got a super blue clubhouse to go with our red tees. Pain it's a complete monstrosity, but fair play. It's a thing. It does look quite cool apart from the the stupid gaudy blue. Just tell Q this could be a plat course. I'm sure it probably could. I mean, awesome use of the step theme, and I really liked this plot from the moment he kind of showed it off with big bridges, little river going all the way down is just so well done. Couple of little low falls, one big drop. This is awesome, really nicely done. And the step look really facilitates this kind of desert canyony sort of thing. Not desert, you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> okay. And then it kind of turns into this dry creek, which is a good decision not to run water all the way down there. Thank you, HB. Um, Bunkers do look awesome from the overhead. Like, they're very Mackenzie shaped. Um, so they are all sorts of awkward to make. And yeah, we've got a funky routing. We're going to end up kind of... Look at the amount of green size. He's packed really close to the canyon. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kind of right in that little area. And then we've got a couple of other tee shots playing over it. So goodness only knows which way around this monstrosity we go. Let's go and have a little look. So, okay, straight away we're playing down towards close to that ravine. And we've got a green that looks like it's on the ed edge of the world. Even though it's only a tiny bit above this tee, which is a really neat little trick of just hiding that. Um, funky green shape, which is very Mackenzie. Close to the canyon. Uh, planting over here, yeah, I mean, it's fine. I'd probably like some, I, if it were me, I'd be thinking, I don't know the look you're going for, I'd be thinking oak trees or something of just to build like depth in, basically, but it may not have fitted the, the look you were going for. Down here? There's a lot of little bushes. I feel like they're just a bit linear rather than like a little more clumped. They they almost look a bit... It's kind of how the game renders at distance. I don't know. I know they tend to spread out in lines a little bit. It just looks a little bit too rigid. Like this hole. Strategy-wise, I think for this pin, we're kind of anywhere up the middle is fine. <laughs> Modern looking, oh, I'm missing a lot of chat. Modern looking buildings and townhouse section have glitch where you can see a pixely overview. What? That is weird. I'm not sure I really understand that. Okay. It's, uh, I've been baited into hitting a pit shot. Okay. The bunkering looks great. Like, genuinely really cool. Ah, the 98% pitch shot that goes absolutely nowhere. Classic. Lighting's very moody. Uh, 
We're at 169. Veiny planty, indeed. Yeah, that's a very Mackenzie sort of bunker. I don't love it, but you've nailed, I think, what you're going for. I would probably be dropping this side so that like, you've got the higher portion just obscuring in front of the, t the inn and not this one, but you can take it or leave it. I would probably also be losing the single species of tree. I don't know if it... I think you, you, there's enough pines and spruces that we can vary this a bit more, and whilst you can do single species, I don't think this is the one to do it with. Um, oh, this is a long hole up over this bit. Tiny bit fryer's heady. Uh, let's see if we can sling one in a little. Not too bad. Yeah. Come on. Ah. Q definitely does original well, and like I know one of his main things is he, he kind of won't commit to a course if he doesn't think he can do something that nobody's done before, or like that won't feel unique to him, which is not something, that's not the way I design. Ah, okay. All of the bunkers coming in this way. And kind of drivable for where. Okay, so we do have. I presume we could drive it if we go up this way. You're blowing this one up. I think some of these bunkers, what I would probably do is bring this portion of fairway back to about here, angle them a bit more that way, so that you're encouraging people to, even if they don't have the longest driver, to bomb it over here and run it on. And just then they'd feel a bit more part of the hole rather than just extending from here all the way out there. Extending from here and going up there, I think, would work a little neater. Um, so I don't mind the concept of it. Interesting to see how it plays if we do go up here, so we'll try that. Q red slow. Oh, no, grey slow. We'll find a bunker instead. Yeah, you're going to get some weird rolls like that with these bunkers. Nah, it's not gone anywhere near far enough. I think just some denser planting under the tree line would help you so much. Like even if it's off in the background, like up here. Just I know it might not be totally true to the environment, but it will save you a lot of pain. Really like your texture choices. Oh come on. That was fine. And yes, this is definitely good for plat difficulty. Matt, I've just seen your comment. Yes, it does. These two feel a little bit tiny, perhaps given the ones we've just seen being giant and lots of them. But could be wrong. This is a hell of an awkward t shirt. I mean, Aim at the bunkers. What can go wrong? I love this sight line to this green. That's great. Don't you dare lose that. Drop a bit of land in front of this bunker so we can see it a little bit more. Those two look good. They're very passer. Uh... I don't love the green shape at the back. I feel like this would work better with a mound at the back if you're going for that, like, kind of angel style green, but... I do love that little river down at the bottom and the views to the other holes. <laughs> okay, so are we back to near where the first green is? Yeah, we are. Okay, first, second part three. 
This is a cool, very Mackenzie style hole. This has all sorts of Cypress vibes, I'd say. I love the bunkering here. The layering looks great. And whilst I know some of them will be flat fish, like these are, a, these are a pain to sculpt. I really don't think you can do them much better. A little, maybe? The back bunkers, maybe less so. And the, the green shape isn't really, but yeah, I can see it. I need to start playing for this grey slow that I keep, seem to be getting the whole time. That back bunk is a little less well sculpted. You've got some bits popping up. One of these days I've got to get that get a sidewinder actually hold. That's a really boring scorecard so far. Fun course though, like definitely way better than you picture it. Love this. There'll be, and don't get me wrong, there'll be people who will hate this t shot. <laughs> Especially in real life, you'd have people hating this t shot for the deception of the fact that the fairway looks like it's joined. But I'm, I'm here for it, and this is fun. Don't hit a full driver. A little less. I mean, does the fairway need to be that undulating near the end? I'm not. I'm not sure. And this bunker here is close. It's not. I I know what we're trying to do. I think this bit could drop down a bit. This bit can drop down a little. Yeah, it's really well. It's really well executed. Same with this one. Like. Tiny bit of this is just creeping a little too high up. I also think you might need to run a circle brush, although I know you'll have around the middle. No, I'm sure you've probably tried. Just some oddities of the game, isn't it? Um, where do I want to be? Well, there's no. I might as well go for it. I just don't want to be short. No bunkers on rookie for a reason. I don't blame you. Well, the bunkering is a strength here. Like, yeah, there's a few you might want to rework, but I like the planting that we're seeing on the cliff tops just back there as well. Exactly, exactly, Matt. I mean, if he took on standard bunkers. Probably be absolutely fine. Oh, I remember you asking about this hole. Hmm. This green shape works a lot better because of the mound that's in front, and I think the lighting helps you. Just enough. Um. Let's see. Well, for this one, I want to be short of that anyway, so. This hole's a pain to sculpt. Like you've done really well. Yeah, there's there's some definitely running a circle brush over the inside will stop these instances where it pops up a little bit more. Yeah, no, I know you're not. And I I completely understand that. But there's a lot of good on here. Yeah, again, like planting under here could just use a little bit more undergrowth, but for the most part it's really, really good. And I really like that as like there's an awkward section of land you've got to use there with dog leg away from the coast is just super tough. Um not a massive fan of this one. I do get the concept of like pick a side for to get around the false front. I think we've gone very wide and then very narrow and it's just feels a little awkward more than anything. Visually, I think it works. Kind of feels like Mike Strantz took over for a hole.
Yeah, I think most people would. Actually, no, that's probably good. Yeah. That is a hell of a long green. Yeah, I'm not sold on this hole. Would be this is the first one where I'm just like, oh, I don't know if I like this one. The previous ones have all been good. And that one, I think the core of it is a good idea. It's just a bit wild. Again, love the bunker kind of leaking out and a nice way of hiding that little river. Sneaky view at some more coastline is fun. Cool little green site just hidden down and. I like this a lot. Oh, I don't go into that bunker. Damn it, Q. Deserved that. Not a good shot. But I think we can get away with it. I'm glad you didn't try to plant that hillside. I don't think it needs it, and it would have taken a lot of meter and time and effort. Maybe a couple of bits. Just make it really big and plant a few bits just because it's. Slightly throwing me that it's very planted over here and not really much over here, but I think that's probably a time saving method rather than anything else. Okay, presuming this one's going to be hard for those, or we funnel down here. I like the choice of a side on green because we haven't had one of those for a little while. If at all. But when you're missing this fairway, you know your tempo's bad. Oh, I like the waypoint it's giving us. <laughs> Entertaining. Okay, and we're blind and the land's really running down towards this green. I would love to play this again better. I think this is a really fun approach and I've just not... Par fives are not boring, no. Yeah, I that I have played that hole in the most boring way possible though. What a weird scorecard. Oh, okay. Bridge kind of feels like it comes out of nowhere. Hmm. I don't know how to change that. Where have we just come from? All right, one sec. I don't do this unless I'm really genuinely a bit confused. So we've come from this green and walked down to here. I'm not I don't like that bit of routing too much. If we come from this green, all for it. If we come from this green, all for it. From this one, I think it's a little bit of a stretch. And that's why when I'm going on the tee of like, wow, in the sense of like, that's a surprising hole. It's because I tunnel will fix it. Yeah, exactly. It's because you, you have that visual of where you are on the plot. Like if I'm going on and playing that par three, I think that fits really nicely sequentially because you're seeing where this is and you're visualizing it and you know what's coming up. Whereas when you go from here and like you know you're inland and then suddenly you're right down here, it it just jars a little bit more. That said, I do now the hole itself I really like. There's a tucked bin. You did it on Tiamo, and I'd have told you were wrong then. A little bit of unflattened tea box, but it doesn't matter. Oh, so we'll let you off. Well, get over the little spine. Good enough. Not good enough. At the tunnel. Yeah, no, I saw that. I thought you were talking about the cock. Tunnels are tunnels are really hot right now. 
That's a cool little path three. Oh, and then we go to all the bunkers. This is a great view. Might like to lower this little bit, bit of land just a touch so we can see more of that bunker just short of the green. Oh, we're not clearing that, are we? Damn you, Q. Um, that guy's will, but I won't. <laughs> Thanks, Axel. Always appreciated. Okay, now we're coming back up past three, I think. Yeah, that was two. Awkward, awkward, awkward shot there. I did not want 100%. Um. Just presume it will do some weird wobbling somewhere along the line and hope yeah, it went right. Awkward does equal good. Like, not consistently awkward, but, like, enough. We are now going to have three more pars, and then we'll hit some birdies again. That's That seems to be how it works. This is a really cool look. Love this. Yeah, this is very cool. Um, There? Maybe? That was good. That's a tough tee shot. Just going to pretend I didn't see the bridge bit there. Love this view of the canyon. Really cool. That's probably my favourite shot on the course. Like visually, looks really good. Yeah, I'm. I think a lot of people will be like that. Again, lighting definitely helps. Not making anything. Yeah, definitely the best green site, and it's coupled with a really cool drive and like very cool approach. I think this little river is definitely the best feature on the course as well, and it makes the most of that. This par three is great. Oh, okay. Are you going to have done this awkward orange thing where it stays on that slope? I bet you have. You, you would have done. <laughs> hey, it works. Yeah, T box thing. Oh, this is cool as well. The only thing I might have changed in just in terms of routing, I can't recall having a hard left to right camber towards a ravine. I might have tweaked that. Hard to say the same thing. Hard to always manage that. Well, that's a genuinely dreadful t shirt. Stay. Oh, we're all right. We're alive. This is fine. Um... Easy. Exactly. That's just your standard par. Okay, three birdies now, please. Love the view out. Like, sight line out to that green is gorgeous. And the bunker layering is really nice. I don't love the way these two work together. They feel a bit 
almost a little bit yin and yang, if that makes sense as a comment. Oh, don't hit the bunker again. It was a well, it was a long three shotter anyway. There's a pin. <laughs> Let's say go. Nearly there. Right, two to go. Three and a five. Love the way this one sits. Works really well. Um, I think this one works really well. Love the way you put bunkers around. I think the way it sits down and like what we've done there is played more with elevation. That's something a little bit different. Really cool view taking us back to coastline again once more. What did you hit everyone now? Yeah, probably. Go on. Ah, just didn't hit that one. And then we got 18, par four. Huh. Well, that's certainly quirky. I feel like this is a little too severe. This the slope above the bunker. Somewhere over here. Certainly an insane hole. Yeah. A little, a little severe for me, I think. And the blue light guiding you home, definitely. Is it? I mean, it looks, it definitely looks a lot more dangerous than it is. Just a little, a little severe. There you go, seven under. I mean, granted, I had basically zero wind, so that does, that does help. Um, Get some truly awful shots in there as well. All right. They're like lots to enjoy. There's some really interesting holes there. And like you always give us very unique and interesting golf holes. Um, I thought the par threes generally as a set were really cool. Um, there's a lot. And par threes are hard to make interesting. I thought you did a really good judge, a job of that. Um, par fives as well were class. Um, what would I have changed? I don't know. There's a lot I'm going to remember from that course. I think the routing got a little wonky in spots. Um, I mean, I'm feeling if I'm if I'm spotting eleven, there might have been another one. And I know from well, from experience trying to do the same sort of thing where you make the most put loads of greens in one place it can get really tough to get in and out without any issues. Um, so that'll probably be something I'll have a look at again next time I'm playing this one. I thought the balance of holes was really cool. Like we go. We mix up short and long quite nicely, range of pars, elevations, things like that. Yeah, just not much more to add. I thought you, the plots class, just you ran out of some time with planting, which which we knew, and you'd probably be tweaking. But actually, you'd probably have spent that time tweaking bunkers that you probably didn't need to tweak anyway. Um. So yeah, really good course. And that is the last of our Dream Team playthroughs. So thank you to all of you who've stuck with me throughout these. Um, they they do take a while, but they're a lot of fun to do. Um, and now we get on to actually properly judging them. That has begun. So um, judges are posting scores as we go. We're hoping to have that done within kind of the next month or so. Um, and we'll, we'll keep you posted. Yeah, until then, see you again soon.